Hi, I'm Phil Miglarese. I'm here with jujitsu.com. I'll be answering a few questions about earning my sixth degree on my black belt from Helsing Gracie. So my definition of jujitsu is the easy way. I've been training jujitsu for a long time. I think I had my I learned my first move in the 80s. Finding the easy way, no matter what. This is my life philosophy. So I believe in tradition and the evolution of things, like new school, old school, sort of balance. Um, I think you need both. I grew up in Philadelphia, trained in Philadelphia, and when I was of age, I traveled all over the world to learn jiu-jitsu and learn from pretty much all the best instructors. I lived at the Gracie Academy, trained with almost every Gracie under Elio Gracie lineage. I got my black belt from Helsin Gracie. I'm studying now for my sixth degree on my black belt. Every single move I've ever learned in the Elio Gracie and Helsin Gracie system there is a whole bag of tricks of how to teach that move. So you learn faster and you don't know how you're learning so fast because we have all these tricks to teaching them. So like bumping someone from the mount or uh, you know clinching them from stand up. There's a way of teaching it just to get anybody in the world to do it. So part of what I do, I try to unlock the little pieces towards the goal. And so it takes time on the mat when you're, when you're training. So I always discuss this thing like a jujitsu operating system, like a computer. So it's the way I process things. I search for the easiest way. So if I'm on the mat with somebody working, I want to try to find the easiest way out of their guard, not the most strenuous or taxing or dangerous way. I look for the easy way, the easy route. It's the gentle art. So it's also defined as the easy way. I read it one time in a dictionary and they define jujitsu. They find jujitsu as the gentle way. It doesn't feel gentle on your side. You get hurt, you know, you get hit with these arm bars and stuff, but on the application side should be general application, which is generally the easy way. I was in a car accident when I was 17 and doctor told me I was never going to train or do yoga again. And um, I, after I got hurt, I came back after like a year, year and a half of being laid up on my back and uh, I had to learn a new jujitsu. So, there are certain things that I can't do, there are risks that I can't take on the mat, and sometimes it costs me a move, you know, someone, you know, getting over a leg, or nothing so bad that I can't defend myself, but my weakness is that I can't train every day, so sometimes, you know, I'll train, and then, man, my hip, my back, it'll, it'll kill me. And this is another reason why I do yoga. It's not the reason why I started yoga. I started yoga because I thought it was cool, you pull your leg over your head, that was cool. After I got injured, uh, yoga became therapeutic. I was able to realign my body, balance my hamstrings out, like the flexibility, balance out my lower back. So I, I remember at Black Belt, right when I got it, I didn't have the ability to look across the room, see a move, see someone doing it, and then having the ability to correct it from the outside. I would have to like really get in there and do it. Like you do it to me, I can correct it. If I do it to you, I can show it. But the ability from the outside to like see a mistake from across the room. Black belt, you know, zero degrees. I was just aware of it. I wasn't any good at it. Now I can see, you know, I can see it in and out. I can see if a foot's wrong. I can see if, you know, not that I know everything, but I know enough to correct people and to you know really see I can see into games I can memorize games now whole games someone starts to move to you know and trying to end the move I, I know what they're gonna do so I can forecast a lot of game now so instead of just studying a move I study someone's whole game how they start how they attack how they fake you know so my my abilities have change mostly mentally because you know you get older you go through a decline in physical abilities most of us so you know am i as risky and fast as i was at 20 years old no not at all i'm not jumping into anything you know i go very smoothly but um yeah so if i have if i had any jump between maybe just black belt and third degree black belt it's my ability to see a mistake from across the room it it, it hits me when i study for the stripes that you know how how great it is to have it but it's more of a responsibility too for me to sh just share with everyone so whatever i did to get here i want to get you there i want to get other students there so i think that a black belt is more attainable than ever these days because there's tons of quality instructors out there all legit guys to to get you there now mm -hmm.